Hey, I'm Sadler Vaden of Leslie, and I'm going to show you how to play Touch Me. So the song Touch Me starts out with a very interesting um, guitar tone, and it's, it's partly due to um, a technique which is a pluck and it takes uh, these three fingers, your thumb, your pointer, and your middle finger and uh, it's, it's on just a, a, a normal uh, power chord in the D shape here. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the tone off your guitar let's say about to five or six for some of the high end and it provides a little um, just a little darker a tonality. So um, it starts here in D, and you just you take your three finger pluck, and you just start plucking away here. So So that, that should give you a good idea of the intro there, and, and what's important is from D here and just your power chord shape, you want to slide from down to C and up to F. So it'll give you, it'll give you this almost synthesizer sound with just manually sliding and plucking. So you have a, the beginning on D here. to give you the intro to Touch Me. So the next part of Touch Me I want to show you is the chorus and um, it's more of a straight ahead lick than the other parts and it isn't unlike Layla by Eric Clapton and this was kind of decided uh, later in the recording process as a uh, sort of the main lick to the chorus and uh, it's going to start here in D and this is more just a just a one and five power chord, just a root note in the fifth. And uh, it's going to do a little something like this. And what's important in this lick is the passing notes. So you're going to start on D here and you're going to. Then there's a passing note in G, down to F. So you're going to start in D, slide down the C, passing note G to F. So it's going to go. basics for that lick. Um, what's important is coming into the lick, it's a little bit of a uh, hammer on and pick down, which is like Layla, and it goes a little something like this. And that's the chorus. Alright, the last part of Touch Me I want to show you is the part known as the breakdown and it comes after the second chorus. And this part is, for the most part, uh, the same as the intro. And, um, you know, the whole song started around this lick with me in the kitchen playing acoustic guitar, um, just messing with the uh, plucking technique and the sliding on the chords. And the, uh, the pluck as we like to call it, or the claw, that's what we call it in the studio. When we, when we do this, we know that the claw is about to happen in the song. And, um, you know, it's been used a lot in rock and roll. And uh, uh, the band's producer and us kind of made it our own. We just, we kind of use it in some of our songs when we're looking for um, something special to drive it forward. And um, 
So we're going to start with the, with the same intro okay. lick. And, and this part, I like to use a phaser, which I have the small stone here, which is an electroharmonics phaser. And um, I set mine to about 9 o'clock, which gives you a slow phase. And then the color button pushed up. And what I'll do is I'll give you this sort of, uh, you know, it'll give you a phase kind of going uh, in and out of frequencies. And it'll go something like this. Well, that is how you play Touch Me, and um, I hope that you got some useful information out of this. Um, if you'd like to ask me any more questions, you can email us at lesleyband at gmail.com, and I'd love to hear your feedback, and um, thanks for listening to the song, and thanks for checking out the video, and uh, we'll see you out there on the road. Thanks a lot. guitar nerds out there, I don't play a line six and so it's like, yeah, I'm way cooler than that. So why do you have that? Because <laughs> my other one's in the trailer. <laughs>